Well, what have we got here? It says over here 196 cc plate compactor. All right. I guess the first thing we better do is check the oil. Right. It's way down there, man. Right down there. It's coming. It's coming. You'll see it. There it is. Oh, it's completely full of oil. Ah, it's making a mess, too. Might as well just go for it now, eh? What a mess. Ah, hurt. Ah, okay, not that bad. Did the dipstick back in. I've got just the right amount in it now. To the point where it's spilling out. So I wonder if it's hydro locked. Okay. So before we go any further, we're going to take out the spark plug, but I've got to get cleaned up a little bit. Oh. <laughs> Be right back. Oh, now you guys are getting an idea. All right, guys, I'm going to just tap on that cylinder a little bit. I can't turn it over. See this? Locked. So I'm just going to tap on the cylinder a tiny bit just to see if there's any motion there. Hard to say. All right. Let's... Uh, I'm going to take the rewind off and we're going to get friendly with it. Oh, those are eight. They're worth six hundred and ninety-nine dollars Canadian, about five fifty US. Should be a nineteen millimeter socket on that. Oh, it's bigger than that. Huh? Well, what size is it? Twenty-two or twenty-one? Two twenty, two twenty-one. There we go, and it turns clockwise. Get my knees protected here. Gotta watch my age here down on the ground. Don't like it. Very small amount of, uh, very small amount of compression. I'm gonna just get an adapter for my drill, and I'm just gonna turn it over with this drill for a bit, pulling my finger over the hole. Start. Have we got spark? I can see the spark plug, you guys can't. It's got good spark. All right. I'm going to pour some fuel. Some two stroke fuel down the gullet. 
we're going to reduce the RPMs as much as we can. Alright, let's throw a little bit of gas down that hole. That should do it. Cycle it a little bit. Good. Let's put a spark plug back in. Spark plug wrench. This? Yes, you are. I'm afraid. Start jumping around like a jackrabbit. There it is. There's the off button. Let's see if she bumps. gas cap off of it. That's amazing! You guys are still watching? Yep. And we got this. So, I, 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 I had tamped on this, the piston a little tiny bit. Uh, and then I took the big wrench, turned the engine over, something snagged, and then it let go. It was probably just rusted rings, right? I'm trying to get this gas cap off of here. Good. What kind of gas is in there? It was running, right? No, because it's a Honda clone, you just don't know, eh? Now a lot of contractors, they'll dump clean gas into their engines before they bring it to you. Just so that you think there's something good going on in there. Alright, it's pretty bad. So what I'm going to do, is get my gas sucker. I wonder how the, I'm going to turn this off. It is off now. I turned it off. Smart enough to. Well, it's got compression. Okay, let's get that gas out of there. We get down to the bottom. Now we need a light. We got the gas out. Good. Okay. How bad is it now? Dump it all into here. And we'll have a look. Just you and me, kid. And you know what? It's not that bad except it's dirty. Just a little bit of dirt in the bottom. Wow. 
So now we've got a question, right? How far do I go? I don't know. I don't know how far to go. All right, my friends. We're going to put a little bit of gas in it. We're going to drain that gas through the carburetor onto the plate. That's enough. Gas is expensive these days. We're going to need a 10 millimeter wrench. And we're going to drain some fuel right out onto the floor. We should catch it though just to see what kind of... Here we can probably catch it with this little guy right here. He's happy little guy. Yeah, let's catch it. Okay, that gas is yellow. It's getting clearer. It's almost clear now. Yep, yeah, I think I can just let that. This is called a Hail Mary. Hail Mary! We got this! You guys with me? I don't know if you are or not. I got more stuff down here than you can shake a stick at. And we are recording, so now we're going to try and start this bad boy. Good. Now, which one's the choke? That one. Turned off. She might run, gentlemen and lady. gone from a seized plate compactor to an operational plate compactor but there's a lot of work to be done on this one uh, did you hear the clutch finally let go too isn't that something huh wow. I gotta get some air in here ah, ah, ah. just wait Yes, plate compactor. So 
So right now, uh, I noticed that this was spinning on here, and it actually does control, there we go, I moved too fast. See that? It does control the throttle, but it's just spinning on the handle. And this back piece back here, this not this one, but this one, is stripped out. And these are the little things you got to do when you're uh, fixing something. Whether it's for yourself or whether it's for somebody else, it makes no difference. This kind of stuff has to be fixed. So that back thread is stripped. So I'm just going to hopefully just run this through there. This is the size of the bolt it was. And we'll increase the size of that hole so we can just put a nut on the back of that. See, I took nothing at all, eh? Good. Now, is it going to be a 1032 or should I go metric? Okay, I know it's dark. I think I got it. Grab my little 10 millimeter wrench to make sure it's going to be tight. Okay, that seems to work quite well. Now, the next thing. Let's put these away before I lose them. And we're going to come back and see if we can get this started with the recoil. Thanks. So old Uncle Bruce got smart. I'll put this thing on a piece of rug. Do you guys know how heavy that thing is? And then I had a Honda air cleaner, air filter, excuse me, and it does fit on there right over the flange, and then the cover goes on top with another nut. So this thing's not getting the Cadillac treatment, it's getting the Chevrolet treatment. So I'm going to try and start it now. Although I've, somewhere in here I dropped a, a deck screw. I was using a deck screw to do a repair just to like pull out a piece of plastic and it disappeared. So you don't like to do stuff like that but I have to move forward. And let's get that rewind on there and see if we can start this thing by hand. If we can start it by hand and make it hop and vibrate and do its terrible thing, uh, I'm just going to change the oil in it and call the uh, my friend Juan who uh, has the little company. Yeah. So I'll be right back. Have we got an 8mm dew hummer quarter runner? Yes, we do. And I'm starting to work from this stool a little bit more. The other day when I was working on this thing, <laughs> it, uh, the old uh, body wasn't happy. That's okay. okay. So what do we got here now? One, two, and three. And we want to pull at about an angle like that, right? Do they have lock washers on those? It appears they do. Oh, just little washers. Got it. We'll have to change that first one once we get this cool. Good. Still wondering where that screw, the deck screw landed. But it'll turn up inside a tire or something. Should we try the air filter too? I wanted to give it a power wash. Hmm. And then we put the filter hood on with the bunny rabbit to the outside so we know how to run it. I like that. Oh, that's pretty good, eh? And a metric nut on top. I don't have any metric, metric butterfly nuts. <laughs> oh, 
See that? That's how you that's how you lose stuff. Okay. Right on. Now choke on. We're gonna start it, but we're not gonna rev it up. And we should have control with the handle. So I'm gonna back up and see if it'll start. Throttle a little bit, eh? Zoom. Zoom. All I'm going to adjust that throttle and open the big door. Set the man door open. And how's our fuel? We have some fuel. Let's just start it up. Still running. Okay, we're gonna change the oil on this bad boy now. Oil sucker upper. Yeah, maybe I can stick that in there and we'll have some luck. I don't know. change the implements now. <laughs> okay. I'll let that just lay down on there. And we'll get the shorty more, the shorty smarty. Yeah, that should almost work a little better. Mm -hmm. Are you guys still watching this or not? Yeah, you still are, and that's amazing. Five hundred mils should take it to the threads, and it was overfilled with oil too, eh? All right, it's time for a little demo. Some throttle. It is turned on and pull up. Oh, you missed it. It went by. Right there. We're going to do this again. Just for the record.
that's as good as it gets, my friends. I hope you got a little view of that. All right, my friends. I think it's a 22 millimeter uh, ratchet. And if I can't turn it over, I'm not going to go any further. This thing is, these things are hard to work on. It's not turning, and I'm not going to spend my what's left of my youth making this thing run. No, it's I I am just not going to do it. This is going back on. And back to the owner for spare parts. I guess the only thing I got left to do is, ch is clean the plug on that other one, but I don't think it's the plug on this one. And I'm just going to change the plug in that one. Thanks, guys.